Welcome back everyone to GH Plays and today we're back with another video but time for Weapon Fighting Simulator and in this video I'll be showing you guys the best ways to get Eternal Sword and yeah these can be my opinion so before we do move on make sure to subscribe and like if you guys enjoyed comment down below any tips that you guys have and also any recommendations for this game you guys want to see obviously I'm going to be making tons of videos on this game so make sure to rec like, give me suggestions and if you guys do and I use it I will give you guys a shout out. Join my family group on my socials. Make sure you join the Discord server as well because I have a giveaway going on right now. And the giveaway is basically the best legendary from your world. And the way this basically works is if you guys win, I will go to the silver merchant, buy the best legendary from your best world that you have unlocked, and I'll give it to you guys. So make sure to join that and join all my socials and all that good stuff. And yeah, join my clothing group as well because I am going to start making clothes real soon. I know I've stopped, but I do apologize. But yeah, so like now, let's actually begin my third time recording it. Every time I recorded it, it just the video just would not would just corrupt. It's very annoying. But so Eternals, if you guys don't know what Eternals are, they are probably the best um, rarity in the game. So if I show you guys what Eternals are, these are the, they are the rainbow ones over here. Honestly, really difficult to get. And the method I'm going to be showing you guys actually does work because I have actually hatched a few Eternals with this method. So now let's actually begin. So first of all, what I would suggest is if you've not made it to the last world, don't focus on Eternals at all. Still watch the video because you will eventually make it to the last world. But if you've not um, made it to the last world, don't focus on this. And the reason I say is because um, because if you're in any other world, your main focus is just to get um, good enough swords to make it to the next world and defeat the boss that's what your main goal should be and so what i mean by don't forget eternals is if you're just hatching just to get a better sword just so you can defeat the boss and you get eternal that's honestly fine that's honestly you know what you have the best luck in the world because i've never done that but yeah um but if you've got to a stage you're, you're in a specific world you can afford the next world and you've defeated the boss already don't hatch an eternal because if you get to the next world because eternals they're not guaranteed you can literally spend all your spirit stones and you was able to afford the next world and you spent all of it now you can't you, you haven't got an eternal and you also haven't got a um you haven't you're not able to afford the next world so don't focus on that obviously um that's what i would suggest is literally don't focus on until you get the last world obviously if you hatch one just by playing it honestly well done because they're very extremely hard to get so um so yeah, now that's obviously the advice I'll say. And now you've got to the last world and you are here. You've literally, you know, you've got to the last world. Now you can focus on the terms. And what I will suggest is, if you look on the bottom left-hand side, you can see a little event. For right now, you can see there's one event that honestly is the best, one of the best ones you can actually get. Well, it's not one of the best, you know what I mean. But it's a three times luck event. And the reason why I say this one, these events are very key is because they actually help you a lot in the game. I had an event going on, I think it was like a five-time luck event or something like that. I had no boost on and I was hatching Eternals quite a lot. And that's that's why I say events are very important and it's a three-time luck event. And what, what your main focus is, this is when you want to be hatching pets or swords. This is the best time to hatch swords because you have a, you have a little three-time boost event going on for free, guys, for free, for literally anyone just to hatch. And that's when you should be hatching. And say, for example, you're watching this on a day where the three times luck event is actually not even active and you have maybe spirit zone, chi or whatever, d double damage. That is honestly fine. Within those, when those, when those, those days where the three times luck event is not here or the five times luck event is not here, your main focus is to AFK, play the game as much as you can so you can save your spirit stones and just keep saving. Don't open. And the reason why I say don't, obviously, if you don't have the best team and you want to get a few epic rares even legendary because legends are still possible without uh, the luck event and you want to get these you can honestly do it but trying to hatch a mythicals or eternals without the three times luck event is honestly difficult and i am literally proof of it because i've tried to hatch legendaries and mythicals uh, but legends are still possible but mythicals and eternals they are impossible um unless um, unless your luck is insane i do have all the luck passes and i'm literally telling you guys it is honestly difficult that's why i say save uh, I think it comes every two or three days. So within those days, just save an AFK. AFK is very important because you'll be AFKing, right? You can literally be doing anything else and your mind will be off the game and you won't even be thinking of it as much and then you'll come back, you'll get back home, you'll get back from work, school, etc. And then you'll realise, um, you, you'll see you've been AFK for like eight hours and you've made a ton of spirit zones. So that's honestly really good. So within those days, AFK, and your main goal is, when a three times luck event or five times luck event does appear, 
you want to be hatching for 24 hours the whole time you want to be hatching and when you guys are hatching try your best to auto sell the uncommon common rare epic and legendaries if you want or even mythicals if you want depending on what you guys want to keep and yes i know some people might say oh, don't auto sell you can also auto fuse as well if you have a mythical or a legendary or whatever you want to auto fuse just select auto fuse and then put it on it's auto fuse is here by the way it's it's in settings you can literally select the sword you want auto fuse so pick your best sword and then auto fuse and click all the ones you want auto fuse obviously don't click mythicals or eternals because you want to keep them you want to keep your eternal especially eternals you want to keep them so obviously that's the one thing i would say is honestly save for the luck event um yes it might take a couple of days but within a couple of days you'll make tons of spirit stones i literally made 982 trillion in like in like how long i feel like i'll see for like eight hours in eight hours i was in the afk team if you guys are struggling to make some spirit stones find and go to the discord server look um go to looking for a team and there's loads of people that like give out the private server links for like afk in and stuff like that so that's what i do and you actually find good players there that will actually help you defeat the lord pretty quickly and if, if you're not unlock the lord you can literally afk over here and you don't need a team for that you can do it by yourself so literally afk is very key save up and your main goal is to actually for 24 hours straight and obviously if you have more than 24 hours that's even better because after 24 hours you can go back to seeing what you got and go back to playing the game and do the same thing again it's literally a cycle it, it might take it might get a bit you know annoying that you have to do the same thing over and over again but it's all gonna be worth it guys when you get that eternal guys it's all gonna be worth it and that's how i actually hatched eternals guys literally i saved the luck event came and i hatched and i got i think like four or five eternals it was honestly insane i was over the moon but yeah so that's obviously one thing and another thing is that when you guys are hatching when it comes to the three times luck event and when you guys are actually hatching what you want to do is actually from the daily wheel you want to keep every single luck boost you get literally do not waste any and i'm talking from experience i've had luck boosts where there was i've had like maybe three or four luck boosts right and there was no world event no free time luck um, event going on and i used them and i got nothing like i had nothing to show for and i was so annoyed with myself because i can't believe it i wasted on that so save them even if you have 20 save them for the luck event and another way to get these luck boosts is always from the daily wheel Another way is actually during these little world events, these little orbs going around, you can actually get a super lucky one or even luck one because as you guys can see, I actually have a super lucky one. And it's last for three, 10 minutes. And it's a luck plus three. And I actually got it from these little orbs. I don't know where the one is right now. But save them and literally save every single one. And another thing, you can obviously buy it with Robux if you want. But this is for many people that are free to play. I'm not free to play. And... This is the method I still use, so it really doesn't make a difference. Or well, it kind of does, but it doesn't. But yeah, another way to get these boosts is actually from the Silver Merchant. If you go over there, you can see a ton. Oh, not that. You can see a ton of boosts that are literally, you can buy for silver. So yeah, th um, that's what you should do. And these are the orbs I was talking about. So if I actually go collect it, let's see if I can actually get one um, with you guys. Because I, no, I didn't get any. But yeah, make sure to collect them regardless. Because they still give you chi and you have a chance to get that boost. So make sure to do that and yeah silver merchant very important um try and obviously if, if you see obviously um you're trying to get the luck boost and you've not really played it like me so like i've not re reached certain floors you can obviously do that go to the silver merchant don't do the tower afk it come back and then yeah so that's obviously what i would suggest is yeah so that's what you guys want to do when you three times luck event has appeared your main goal hatch for 24 hours straight use all the luck boosts, super lucky boosts you can and do not use them when there's no luck event because it's honestly pointless speaking from experience as i've said honestly not worth it at all and if you guys do do it you're gonna you're gonna be kicking yourself because i did the same exact thing and i was like why did i do that and i've actually learned from it so that's actually fine so yeah um so i think i think that's it that's pretty quick yeah i think that's it so um little quick recap um if you've not reached the last world, don't focus on internals. Um, yeah, just don't focus on no point because they're extremely hard to get. Or only, only hatch when there's a luck event going on. Save all your boost, all your super lucky, all that good stuff. And your main goal is you want to hatch for 24 hours. AFK is very important. If you can't AFK, try your best AFK whenever you can. If you're going to sleep or going to school, going to work, AFK, leave your laptop or PC on at AFK. Honestly, you'll see the massive difference when playing the game. 
And yeah, that's actually it. If you guys have any questions, join the Discord server and actually DM me. I do reply to my DMs. Might take me a while, but I do reply. But other than that, make sure to subscribe and like, comment, join my clone group on my socials. Make sure to join the Discord server as well for the giveaway. And join my clone group and also follow me on TikTok as well. I'll be actually making videos on TikTok like that, Roblox edit. So let me know what you guys think of them. And other than that, I'll see you guys in a later video. Peace, guys.